hello and welcome or welcome back again to another gc video how are you guys doing i know you are doing absolutely amazing well if you're new to my channel my name is becca hello and welcome to my channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back to the channel i had covid in the past a uh, couple of days i've been battling with covid Today is my fifth day on isolation. I hope to get cleared from COVID and a whole lot has been happening behind the scenes and I don't know. But in today's video, I'll be telling you some of my symptoms and how I have been faring or how I've been overcoming, how my plans have been spoiled. COVID has spoiled every plan of mine and now I'm in isolation in my own tiny box seeing the world through my window life hasn't been easy in the past couple of days and in all in all i give thanks to god watch this video to the end comment in the comment section if you've had covid before or what you think so i have my test kits my test results here i will share them i've done five tests as of now because i do one test per day just to know if i've been cleared or not so since the inception of this whole COVID thing, I have never caught COVID. I have worked in respiratory ward as an agency nurse. I've worked in COVID ward. I have looked after patients on CPAPs and BiPAPs, high flow oxygen, Venturis and everything you can think of. I've never caught COVID in the past outbreak or in the past pandemic. But this time around, I don't know what happened. I think Maybe I let my guard down too much. I wasn't too careful as I was in the previous um, waves. So after, I think in December, we had the third wave. So after December, January, February, I thought I was cleared. I thought there was nothing wrong with me. March came by. I am living my life, going about. And then there was an outbreak at work. So there was COVID at work. Patients had COVID, staff ended up having the COVID. It was everywhere. People were falling off sick. They had to go back home from duty because we test every day. When you start your duty, you do the test. And if you're negative, you continue working. So sometimes people test at the beginning of the shift and they are positive. They have to go home without starting work. Others also do the work. In the middle of the work, they start to feel sick or they begin to feel poorly. They do the test and it shows that they are positive and they have to go home. Through it all, I was working, nothing was happening to me. I had my first job in December 2020. I had my second job in March 2021. I had my booster dose in October 2021, which was last year. And now they said there's going to be a fourth job or a booster something for elderly people. I'm not too sure about that yet. So I was planning for vacation because I have been working so hard since the third wave to now. I have been working like back to back, trying to firefight in every situation possible that I can, covering for those that have gone off sick and all that. I have been working so hard. So I felt like, you know what, girl, you need a vacation. You like, you need <clears throat> So I apply for a tourist visa outside of uk I, I was granted the visa i booked my ticket i was preparing and everything I, in fact i had done preparing i went i did my shopping and everything i think i need for that vacation i had done them and at work we're doing our lfd every day we're doing pcr once weekly and it all comes back as clear so <coughs> so i felt like i was okay nothing was wrong with me until two days before I was due to travel, I started feeling very rubbish. I felt like something wasn't going well with me, but I felt it was stressed because I was, I was working so hard in those couple of days and weeks that had passed. So my mind kept telling me, look, it's stress. And I kept doing LFD. I kept doing LFD. I was doing PCR. They were coming back negative. So I was like, okay, probably stress. I started taking my vitamin C soluble. This has been my best friend. I dissolve it in water. I take once daily. I was taking my vitamin D, my uh, my calcium supplement, and all the supplements you can think of. I was taking my iron and everything. 
and I kept working until I had symptoms to be honest I had the symptoms but you know now the policy is when you even have the symptoms and you've had the job and you test and it's negative you still have to continue working so I had symptoms but as I said I felt it was stress because I was working very hard in those weeks and because the test was coming negative I didn't pay any attention to anything so fast forward two days which is 42 hours to my vacation I needed to do a PCR because I was going with British Airways and as part of the requirement you need to do a PCR to be able to you know get on board and when you get to your country of destination they also require a negative PCR for you to be able to go through their borders so I I didn't even think of doing an LFD on that day. I just went straight to do the PCR. I was in the salon braiding my hair, waiting for my results. And then I had an email from the from the doctors. They sent me my PCR results and it was positive. At that point, I was like, oh my goodness, what is happening? <coughs> I couldn't figure out what was happening to me. And sometimes the, the mind is a very powerful tool. So... Immediately, I was told, or I saw the result has been positive. Immediately, I felt so sick. I, like, from being well, I felt so poorly in that few hours. I managed to drive back home. I left the saloon. Fortunately, the woman was done already. So I just left the saloon, picked my car. I managed to drive back home. When I got home, I was feeling very feverish. I was feeling sick my nose were blocked i was coughing i was like so why have i been doing lfds they were all coming back as negative let me just repeat one lfd and i did my first lfd and this is the result it came back as i don't know if you guys can see but this is my first lfd i did so it came back as positive yeah so i did this when after i did this i was in denial i was like you know what something in right something in right <laughs> so i did my second lfd that same day i did the second lfd which also came back as positive so i had two positive lfds okay now i had to cancel my vacation because a girl has paid i had wasted so much money to get my visa my ticket and at the time i had the results it was less than 24 hours to check in and i had to cancel my flight like asap so i quickly went on to my british airways app i have the app on my phone i went straight away to my british airways app i canceled my flight british airways gave me a refund in a form of voucher so they don't give you the cash back they give you a voucher so that i can book Anytime you feel you are ready, I contacted the hotel I was supposed to lodge in ASAP and cancelled my hotel reservation. Fortunately, I um, when I was uh, getting the hotel, I booked a hotel that comes with you know free cancellation. So when I cancelled, I didn't lose my money. So I cancelled my hotel reservation. Fortunately, my visa for six months, so for that one, I didn't have to do anything about it. But life. Like everything went down, vacation field, I can't go to work. God being so good, I have not been so poorly. The only issue I had with the blocked nose, my nose has been very blocked. I couldn't do any videos. The fortunate thing is I had pre-recorded videos. So videos that I have done pre-recorded and pre-arranged on my schedule on YouTube. So those were the videos you guys were seeing. I couldn't do any video because I couldn't talk. I couldn't even hear myself talking. I lost my smelling sensation. I lost taste. I couldn't taste my own food. Nothing. I couldn't smell nothing. My nose were blocked. I couldn't breathe. I was mouth breathing. It was that scary. And I couldn't tell my family back home because I didn't want them to be worried. I didn't want anybody to actually know. It was just a few friends who were close to me here that knew that I was going through something and then work. Gave me all the support, calling, checking up on me and everything. And I did this test on the third day. And then on the fourth day, I did this. 
which is my fourth. So this positive, but it's a bit faint. So this is the fourth day. Ideally, I'm not supposed to be doing the test every day, but that is just me. I'm just too worried to just sit down without testing because I am so ready to go out. Like, I can't wait to go out. So I keep testing and testing and testing. <coughs> you see, I'm coughing. Now the cough is my problem. The blog nose and everything seems to be better. But the cough is my main problem. So today is the fifth. Is it the fifth or sixth day? I've lost count of the days. But today's LFD is this. It's still showing positive, but it's a faint positive. So now I have two faint positives here. I have two faint positives. I'm hoping to be negative by a day or two more. Then I can go back to work. I can go back to rebooking my holiday. Hopefully, by the time you guys see this video, probably I would have come out of isolation. I would have been much, much better to bring you content. But in the interim, I'll be still doing vlogs for you. Not vlogs. Like, I'll still be doing sit-down videos for you from home. Whilst I wait to, you know, go on my vacation. And I can't wait to share my vacation with you. It's been a lot of up and downs. I've been so, so, so down. But I thank God for inspiration. Uh, I have drawn. And I mean, I thank God that now I'm much better. And I'm much, you know, stronger. And I feel more, more, more better. And I feel like I can go back to work. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, COVID is still real. It still exists. I don't know how many vaccines you are going to be having. Like, I don't know how many vaccines. But now, me personally, I treat COVID as a common cold. I see it as a common cold because it's come to live with us. Whether you are vaccinated or not, you will get it. And if you are going to feel sick, you are going to feel sick. So, yeah, I don't know if the vaccine was really, really, really necessary. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I don't know, but... That's just how I feel, that the vaccine doesn't make any much difference. And COVID has come to stay. That's the hard truth. Let me know what you guys think about this whole COVID brouhaha and all this fourth dose of vaccine, whatever you think. Let me know in the comment section. Let's interact. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Until we meet again in my next video, guys. It's bye for now. Adios.